Hello, YouTubes. Welcome back to James Recommends. I have no idea how much better this is without having to mess with that whole camera setup. It was such a nightmare. Anyway, this week I want to talk to you guys about Selfie, Sisters of the Amniotic Lens. Selfie is a strange, strange game. I'm actually recommending it to you because I think there's a lot to think about with it and what it means in terms of game design in general, but I actually don't think the game is very good. Uh, truth is, one of the first things that raised me, it, it just like shattered me when I had this realization. Uh, I had to ask myself in the middle of this game, can you ruin a game with gameplay? Because they've got a really unique setup. The introduction to the story is uh, very compelling, especially if you like weird things. This is basically, if any of you guys remember the quasi-terrible old TV series, uh, Wild Palms. This is th this has a very dark Wild Palms vibe to it. It brings you in with a narrative hook, gives you this very bizarre room, asks you to take some very strange activities. You spend a lot of the game catching flies with your mind. So this game... Uh, gives you this moment. When I, when I first saw it, I was like, sure, whatever, it's a couple dollars on Steam, I'll pick it up, it looks super weird, maybe it'd be interesting to talk about. The first moment really had me, right? I was, I was there, I was with him. I was like, yeah, uh, I want to know more, which is all you want out of the first 10, 15 seconds of your gameplay. But this game, all they've really got is a short narrative. It, they've clearly, they've got a short story they want to tell. And it was weird to me to ask myself, is game the right medium for this? And in some ways, the answer is yes, because of another mechanic I'll talk about in a little bit. But, since what they really want to do is tell the story, clearly a lot more time was spent on telling the story, on making all these little uh, pixel art, old Amiga looking, pictures that show up on the television, advertisements, than was on the gameplay itself. You will spend, if you play this game, you'll spend a lot of your time in this sort of space shooter simulation thing uh, where it's really primitive and you spend the vast majority of your time in traversal where you're doing absolutely nothing. And the problem with the uncanny, the problem with the weird is the weird can never be reduced to the mundane or the boring. If you ever feel bored, the the weird surrounding that boredom loses all of its effect, right? Because we feel very safe being bored. That's the effect that this segment has. You basically get a little narrative clip, a little narrative segment, and then you repeat the exact same gameplay over and over and over again. And the gameplay isn't very compelling. One of them, you have to mouse over some flies. The other one is basically these long traversal and very poor space shooting segments. Never varies, never change them. That's all you do. And what it really made me realize is that this is a game where gameplay was clearly not where they wanted to put in the majority of their effort. And some of the effort in other places shows. There's some very interesting, very cute, very referential things in some of the art. The room itself is super creepy, even though it's super lo-fi. But the gameplay sections totally took me out of the game, right? They had the story they wanted to tell, and the story uh, totally ended up moving from something that if it was in a book, I would have torn through the six pages of story that it is in no time. But the gameplay just made it feel like a slog. And so I see a lot of indie games do this where they don't really care about the gameplay, they want to do something else. They want to show you an interesting world, they want to tell you a story, they want to show off a beautiful art style. And so the gameplay is an afterthought, and if you're going to make a game, the gameplay can't be an afterthought. If you really, if that's not what you want to do, right, trim it down. The, the less the better, because the weakest part of your game is what level your game is at, and if it's the gameplay especially, it takes players out of the entire experience. So that was a really interesting realization for me, that gameplay can make your game worse. They would have been better off if they cut the majority of this gameplay, even if it reduced the game time to 20 minutes instead of an hour and a half. Additionally, I knew nothing when going into this game, and now I'm about to throw in some spoilers. Uh, so just you've been warned. I knew nothing about the developer, I knew nothing about the game, I just saw this crazy looking thing on Steam and said, sure, whatever, I'll pick it up. At the end of the game, you get a moment where the developer comes on and tells you their thoughts, and tells you what the game is about. 
for me, this was very disappointing. I actually really appreciate it. I loved how earnest the guy was. I loved how passionate the guy was. I thought that was great. It made me uh, like him more and like the idea of them as a developer more. But he came in and he told me what the game was about and how I was supposed to experience the game, which is sort of something that I feel like you have to relinquish a bit as a developer in an interactive medium. And especially, it, it's a very overtly Christian game, and that wasn't the message that I had gotten from it. So also in explaining that, he sort of made me feel as though my interpretation, what I had gotten from the game, and I actually did get things from the game, where I had gotten from the game was not valid because here's the way to, here, here is the correct way to view his game. That to me is a dangerous area for any developer and made me really think about this idea of authorial intent in our medium. I don't believe in authorial intent in general. Um, I think that what people get out of something, if it's positive for them, is what it is for them, right? Uh, regardless of what the creator thinks. Especially in this medium, it becomes an even dicier question. And so I am going to recommend Selfie, Sisters of the Amniotic Lens, to check out whether or not gameplay can actually make a game worse if you feel the same thing. And see if, see if to lesser degrees you all of a sudden see that in some other indie games you've played. And then at the same time, whether the authorial intent, whether the author coming on, the director coming on, the game designer coming on, and telling you their thoughts actually improve the experience or not. And lastly, I did want to point out one other thing. When you begin the game, and this is just something that you might miss, but when you begin the game, it asks you to, to tell a little bit about sort of an experience that you've had that's been difficult. And as you go through the game, and you're playing this space shooter section, you may periodically see stars that are brighter than other stars. If you go over, they're actually bottles. And in those bottles is a message. And it's whatever other players wrote. And you can sort of condemn them or you can absolve them. And this was an interesting system. It didn't have... I actually did find one or two messages that, that were powerful, but it didn't have the effect on me, especially in... especially buried in this dull slog gameplay that... I would have liked to have seen it have. It was an interesting idea, this idea of a video game confessional where you take your sins and throw them out into the ether. I don't know whether or not I like it or not, but it's something that I haven't seen done frequently. Uh, but again, it was this strange balance between gameplay and the inherent meaning of what they were trying to, to convey. And whether or not those pieces were tied in any way, right? The space shooter didn't feel tied to the actual experience that we were attempting to go through. Uh, but yeah, with a lot of reservations, if you're looking for something that's curious, try Selfie, Sisters of the Amniotic Lens. See you all next week.